Uh, I'm Pavel Novak. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Czech Republic. Uh, I'm a Minnesota Wild uh, prospect, and I'm coming on on only Touch Greatness podcast. Um, hi, I'm Gabriel Sturz. I'm 2022 NHL draft prospect, and I come on only Touch Greatness podcast. Looking for the most beers on tap, great steaks, great staff. Head over to the John B Pub. We got the best beers, steaks, chicken wings, nachos in town. Come see us at the John B Pub. The John B Pub, the best bar in town. Come sign up for our football pool. Say hey, St. You. The number one sports podcast in Vancouver with Ryan Hayes and Big Mike. Ryan Hayes and Big Mike are taking over the podcast scene in Vancouver. Get down or lay down. corner put up by the boards with the Rockets past Armstrong now at two on one Gabrielle Sturch with the empty net on left wing feeds it in front Novak will score be spectacular no neither has Tisdale really they've had good defense in front and not a lot of action they score opportunity right there oh, if anyone knows a good prospect it's Vancouver's Ryan Hayes and Big Mike and this time they pay for it. Uh, so, Pavel, uh, born in Czech, uh, tell us a little about childhood and uh, when you started playing hockey. Uh, yeah, I started to uh, play hockey when I was like two years old. It was my first steps on the ice when my dad took me on the ice because he was playing uh, some lower leagues in Czech Republic. So that was my start and it continues still. Absolutely, and you definitely made the right decision. Oh, and, yes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Gabriel, same question for you. Uh, born in Czech as well. Uh, when did you start playing hockey? Uh, I started playing hockey uh, uh, when I was uh, four years, four years old. And um, my bro- my older brother played hockey, so my parents uh, like it and. They took me to the rink, and I like it as well. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And did you guys both play any other sports growing up? Oh, uh, yeah. I was I was playing uh, soccer as well, and now I'm playing tennis uh, every summer. So, yeah, these sports. Okay. Uh, I played professional only hockey, but uh, in summer, I really, really like playing uh, tennis as well, like Pavel. Okay. 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 
And uh, do you guys have any nicknames? And what's your favorite jersey number and why? Uh, so my, my nickname is pretty simple. It's Novi. And my favorite number is 11 because uh, my dad always, we are uh, number 11. So that's, that's pretty simple for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, my, uh, my nickname here in Canada is Gabby. Uh, that's easy because my name is Gabriel. So yeah, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple and in Czech it's uh, Sturzi but it's quite hard to for Canadian yeah. people to say that so <laughs> in Canada here it's uh, only Gabby and uh, I'm sorry what was the question Another. and what's your favorite jersey number and why um, I, I have uh, like three favorite jerseys numbers so like 10 uh, 22 and 27. Uh, 22 was my uh, first number uh, in hockey. So, yeah. So I took uh, that, that number here in pretty, Kelowna. I was going to say, that's pretty cool. You get to wear it in Kelowna now. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. And what's and, one, uh, who do you, go ahead, Ray. And what's one aspect of your guys' game that you're both looking to improve on? Uh, what I need to improve? Yep. Uh, I would like to improve uh, my skating for sure. And, you know, there is a lot of areas where I would like to be better. But, yeah, I think the skating, that's the mo that's the biggest thing for me. Okay. Yeah, I want to improve in uh, ozone and in finishing, like um, shooting and uh, scoring the goals, because I think... Uh, this is my, uh, this is my, yeah, I need to improve that. Okay. And, uh, who would you guys say you mirror your game after or try and play like? Oh, it's a, it's a tough question, but you know, uh, I always like Pastrnak. I like to, I like to watch his, uh, games and there is a lot of players that I like to watch like McDavid, right side or Marner. Matthew, so probably these players. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like a uh, couple players, like said no, like Novi said, McDavid is very good. Matthew, smarter, uh, Clayton Keller, a lot of a lot of players in NHL, but I like uh, David Krejci. Uh, okay. He played for Boston. Yeah, he, he has really good eyes. On the ice, <laughs> that's, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> did, did you guys? Uh, did you guys? Did you guys ever? Did you guys get, ever get the chance? Did you guys ever get the chance to uh, skate with Krejci back home? Uh, I never had the chance to skate with Krejci, but I had the chance to uh, skate with Pasternak, and that was great. He is he is so smart wow. and so skilled, and yeah, okay. he's also a very nice guy of the ice. So that was that's Absolutely. that's a great memory for me. Yeah, I never had a chance uh, to play with uh, Krejci as well. So, yeah. Okay. Please, I, and, didn't, uh, I, I didn't do my homework, and I didn't realize that Krejci went back to the Czech Republic for uh, this season, and I ended up drafting him in my hockey pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he's back in Czech, and he, he's doing well. He's okay. probably the biggest star in our league, and, yeah, he continues to do what he did in the NHL. What about Yammer Yager? Course. Yager's still playing. Yager's still playing too, yeah. Yeah, Yager, Yager is playing as well. He's he's almost 50, but he's still scoring the goals and yes. making the points. So. <laughs> that's, Absolutely. That's great, yeah. And uh, do you guys have any pregame rituals or routines? Uh, yeah, my routine is pretty simple. I like, I like to nap before the game. So <laughs> that's probably the biggest rule for me. Okay. Uh yeah, I will probably uh, always walk before before the lunch and after lunch I will take a nap as well and yeah sometimes uh I take a cold shower and yeah that's all. Okay. And if you were having a dream dinner party and you could invite three famous people, who would you want to bring, dead or alive? <laughs> oh. That's that's uh, that's a hard one. Yeah. So for me, uh, it's going to be Gretzky. Uh, 
Pasztriák, and the third, uh, probably uh, Roger Ferrer. Nice, nice. Yeah, uh, for me it will be probably um, David Pasternak as well, uh, Connor McDavid, and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, nice. Wow. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like I, it. I usually yeah. go. I usually go with uh, Tupac, Seth Rogen, and then some eye candy. I like to go with uh, Shakira. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Uh, both of you guys have been uh, lucky enough to uh, represent your country on numerous occasions, uh, and I believe also at the World Juniors. Uh, what's it like uh, putting that jersey on, guys? No, it's it's uh, it's a big pleasure and big honor for us for sure, and uh, it's always it's always nice to represent our country. But uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's it for me. Yeah, I really enjoying. Uh when I have chance to represent our country on a big tournament, uh, it is big pleasure yeah, for us. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Gabriel uh, drafted 44th overall in the CHL import draft. Um, did you know much about the Rockets? And uh, were you watching the draft at all? Oh uh, yeah, I watched the I watched the draft, and I knew that uh, Pavel played here, so. I talked uh, with him about about Kona, about Rockets, and he said me a lot of good things. So yeah, I was really excited. And uh, you guys must both like the the weather up there. I mean, winters can get a little ugly, but uh, in the summertime, you couldn't ask for another a better place. I go there all summer long. It's beautiful up there. Yeah, I, I have to say, uh, British Columbia and Kelowna, especially, it's very nice play, and I, I'm so happy I can play here. Oh yeah. And and uh, and uh, this one's wait for, for the winter. We tell the wait, yeah. for, wait for the winter. The, this year, the winter's coming. It's gonna be cold. Pa- Pavel's already had it once here. Yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah. You, you know, it, it wasn't that that bad in the winter. So hopefully, it's gonna be same this year. <laughs> and uh, Pavel drafted uh, in the fifth round to the Minnesota <laughs> Wild, 146th overall. Uh, can you bring us back to draft day? And did you know the Minnesota Wild were interested in you? <laughs> you know, it was it was crazy day for me because uh, uh, it was it was very long. It was the draft was a little bit different usually. We had online draft, so I was waiting for my name like six seven hours. So very long day, and I had no clue like uh, Minnesota will pick up me. So it was it was like big surprise for me. And how did your uh, first train camp go there? I know you got into some preseason action too. How did you like it? Oh yeah, the camp was the camp was uh, was great, uh, and uh, you know I, I was a little bit nervous uh, before I I I flight to Minnesota. But when I met uh, uh, the, a couple of old guys like Spurge and uh, Dumba and these uh, guys like that, and uh, they were they were very nice to me, and everything everything was easier. So yeah, I, I had I had a great time there. I I was so happy I could spend there like almost a month. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, we can't wait to see you lighten it up in the NHL. So for both of <laughs> you guys, uh, can you guys uh, both uh, take us back to your first WHL goal? And do you guys still have the puck? Uh, yeah, I, I remember I scored the first goal against the Tri-City. Day. We won like 6-2 and uh, I pick up like goal and two assists. I also the first star. It was actually a pretty simple game. We played like five against three. I got puck on the blue line. I, I made like two steps and shoot the puck and I scored. And uh, I still have puck. I think right now it's back at home uh, in my in my room. And uh, nice. yeah, that's that's everything what I remember about that. Yeah. And Gabriel. And actually, Gabriel, yeah. I have a funny story about yours. So the, the Rockets on Twitter, if you tweet who you think is going to score the first Rockets goal in the game, when you scored your goal, I actually chose you to score that game, so I actually won the puck. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty unique story. <laughs> yeah, that's so nice. Yeah, I remember that I scored against the PG. I think like uh, two weeks ago or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it was. I was really happy, and uh, no, we had an apple for for that goal, so uh, that was nice. really nice. 
to uh, the check the check connection. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that tweet. <laughs> Uh, uh, Ryan, hit them with the draft question. Okay, if you were an animal, what would you be? Oh, <laughs> that's not the easy one. Uh, you know, I think uh, I think everyone will like to say lion, mm -hmm. but I will say snake because snake is dangerous, very fast, very quiet. So okay, I want like to be snake. It. Oh, yeah, that's a really, very really tough question, like Novi said. Um, um, if, you want an, think, if you want an example, I always go with uh, I'm a dolphin because I look like a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what to say about that. What can I say? I think yeah, lion is good good answer, but uh, I think I want to be like uh, like wolf, like okay, uh, pack mentality. A, yeah, wolf like being a team mentality and uh, being dangerous and yeah, I like wolf. Okay. And uh, if there's a hundred dollar bill, the bottom of a toilet, twenty dollar bill on the counter, which one are you going for? Probably nothing. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, uh, who? Pavel. I, I I said I will I will not choose anything. I He's not choosing either. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. What was your question? I didn't so understand. so there there's a hundred dollar bill at the bottom of a toilet, a twenty dollar yeah. bill on the counter. Which one are you going for? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, we can you help me with that? Uh, máš sto dolarů položený na na záchodě a pak máš dvacet dolarů položený na něčem, to nevím na čem. Uh, co si vybereš? I don't know, like, that's a tough question. I'll basically, I'll, 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 I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you guys, it sounds like a weird question, but the reason the scouts ask that question is because they want you to say the one in the toilet because you're willing to get your hands dirty. That's the whole point of the question. It, it's, it's just one of those trick mind, mind questions. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, and, that's a good uh, question. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Pavel, for you, because you've played in more arenas, what was your favorite road barn in the WHL? Or road well, It's my favorite arena in WHL? Yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I have to say Prospera because, you know, I, yep. I feel like home here. But if I have to choose something different, it's going to be probably... Uh, I, I really like Portland Arena. I really like Spokane, okay. Everett. Yeah, I, I think uh, almost all US division, they have pretty nice arenas. We, we get that a lot. A lot of our guys, they choose the US arenas. Portland's our number one answer always. Especially, yeah. Do you have a favorite sports movie? Uh, oh, yeah. My favorite sports movie is definitely Coach Carter. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> I really like it. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I really like to watch. Uh, it was last year on Netflix. It was like five series about uh, the famous people. Uh, it was like Jose Mourinho and like four other people. I, I don't remember uh, the name of that movie. Oh. oh, the documentaries. Yeah, yeah, those are good. Those are good. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what color is your guys' stick tape and your favorite Gatorade color? Uh, my favorite stick tape is black. Uh, I never, I never had white, so <laughs> that's very easy to, for me to choose. And because I don't drink Gatorade, so uh, okay. I, I, I can answer. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, for me, it's uh, 
black tape as, uh, as, as well. And uh, I'm using black tape for three years or four years. So, yeah. And uh, my favorite Gatorade, Gatorade uh, color is blue. Okay. 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 And what's and uh, Pavel? It's, it's Pavel. It's pretty unique that you use black tape because uh, usually, like ninety nine percent of the answers, we get white tape. So the question is, why I have a uh, black tape? No, no, no. I'm not asking why. No, no, no. I, oh. I, I, no, no. I'm just saying it's it's unique that you have black tape because most guys use white tape. Yeah, that's that's weird for me. But you know, when I when I start to play hockey. My my dad always taped my stick like black, so maybe that's why. I always I always used black too. I liked black, and then recently me too, switched. me too. And then I You're recently I recently switched to white. <laughs> you know when it, when you tape your, your stick like a white, your stick looks after a couple shots pretty dirty. So maybe that's why. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. Okay. At, at least a black one, you can't. It hides the puck. That's right. Well, yeah. <laughs> what what uh, I did? Hang on, I'm gonna tell him now. What what I did with my stick is I took my stick and I taped it in white. <laughs> did it up and right. Took a pen and went like this, and I sh traced the uh, I traced the puck, and I put the puck on there and I colored it in with the sharpie. Colored it in with the sharpie, and then so I had two pucks drawn onto my white stick tape plus the puck on my stick. Yeah, nice. it's pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> he, st he still didn't. He still didn't score. No, I still suck. <laughs> well, good, um, good try. If though. a scout, if a exactly, if a scout or GM were to ask, uh, what do you guys bring to the table or describe your game? Oh, well, you know, I think uh, my my game is uh, a lot about uh, scoring goals and making the plays, but. You know, I can also play hard. I can also help uh, in the D zone. So, uh, you know, I used to be just one way player, but now I am getting better. And I have to say, I can play. I can play everything. I can play PK. I can play P PP. So, so I guess I'm getting better. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, for me it will be probably. Uh, I can play hard. I can play uh, good at both sides of rink and. Uh yeah, I can help a uh, team uh with uh, yeah with everything. Yeah, I think uh, uh I want to make a uh, good passes uh to my teammates and uh help in D zone in block shots and uh yeah that's all. Awesome. So you're uh, you're an all all around player. That's what everyone wants. That's good. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> That's what we thought about. What's yeah. uh, one food that you're missing from back home? Uh, you know, I think uh, the food here is a little bit different in Europe. So I, I a little bit miss my, my mom because she's, she's, uh, she's doing very good foods. And, but I, like, I don't miss anything. Okay. The home-cooked meals, you, you always have to miss it a little bit. Of course, mom's cooking is the best. Yeah, of course, for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, I miss my uh, my homemade uh, meals as well. Yeah, that's that's really good. But but I can eat yep. uh, food here in Canada, and that's gets good. That's good as well. Yeah. What's your favorite here? What's your What's your favorite in Canada? Like poutine. Uh. In Canada, I pretty like uh, hash browns for uh, for okay, breakfast. Okay, okay. Because okay. we don't yeah. have uh, hash browns for bre breakfast in Czech, so yeah. Okay, okay. You know, because uh, my belly dad, he's uh, he has a butcher shop, so my my favorite um, food is uh, steak, and uh, usually with uh, Americans potatoes or rice. So you know, we wow. Don't we eat a lot of meat because he owns the butcher shop. <laughs> must be nice to must be nice to have the butcher shop. Yeah, exactly. You're spoiled yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah, it's great, but they are also great people, so it helps of course. me a lot to be here. Of course. Um, hey, uh, Gabriel, uh, you don't have to tell me what teams, but uh, have you been talking to any NHL teams with the draft coming up this year for you? Oh uh, yeah, 
Yeah, okay. I talked with some teams. Awesome, awesome. And uh, hey, both both you guys, uh, hang on, hang on. go ahead, right? What's um, uh, how important is the stuff you post on your social medias in a player's public image? You know, because uh, uh, when I went in Minnesota, we had presentation about the social media and stuff like that. So I'm pretty careful right now because everything what you post, other people can see or can save. So, you know, right now, like I said, right now, I'm, I'm careful and I'm, I'm trying to be a good example for, for others. There you go. Yeah, I was uh, really careful what I'm posting on social media. So I... Don't change uh, nothing. I change nothing. Yeah, so that's smart, guys. Because uh, you you know it. It doesn't matter. It happens now. It happens five years. It's it's always with you. And it's smart that you guys decide not to post stupid stuff. Because we had a football player tell us one time he doesn't post anything that his gram he doesn't want his grandma to see. And it's a good way to look at it. Yeah, my grandma would kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey uh pavel and gabriel i just want to thank you both uh very much uh for taking the time for us today and coming on and chatting with us uh you obviously know you're bi we're big fans you guys and we know you guys are going to go far in hockey and you have fans in us for life so i appreciate it and we yep. we hopefully will run into them at one of these games again and uh, yeah come say hello again sounds good to us and thanks for inviting us for your podcast and we really appreciate it yeah, thank you for reminding. I really enjoyed it.